Hello all you electronic hobbyists and fellow tinkerers. If you're like me and you like to salvage useful items from dead electronics, one of the most interesting ones is the piezo alarm that is typically in these carbon monoxide detectors or in smoke detectors. They're very loud and for the most part they run on 9 volt batteries. Obviously one of the easiest ways to do this is to just go online and buy a piezo buzzer, electronic buzzer. They're plenty loud and they're ridiculously cheap. I paid 45 cents for this delivered and I bought this in November of 2017. But if you're like me and you get a lot of satisfaction from recycling old electronics or re repurposing them, let's talk about this one. This is the guts of a Nighthawk carbon monoxide detector, similar to the one I showed you at the beginning of this video. And I read online where lots of people have removed this transducer this is a piezo transducer alarm. They removed this to repurpose it. Obviously, they're very loud and they're very annoying and they're very, very effective compared to something like this. But what you read is people salvage this device and it has three terminals on it and they try every possible combination under the sun of applying voltage to that and they cannot get it to beep. And the reason for that is this device and in general, most three-leaded piezo devices, but not all, require an external oscillator to operate properly. And that oscillator happens to be on this chip right here. It's a hex buffer chip. You need that chip and uh, a couple of resistors and a couple of capacitors to make this piezo transducer work. So that transducer was soldered into these three holes here. If you decide you're just going to cut a part of the circuit board off and use it, you need the hex buffer chip, which is this one right here. You need to keep this capacitor, this capacitor, uh, I believe if I recall correctly, these two resistors, as well as this capacitor, and I don't recall whether these two resistors are required. All these components are mounted on the board underneath the transducer so you got to pull the transducer up to see that if you're interested in greater detail leave a comment below and i'll try to post something up if there's enough interest that hex buffer chip right here is an mc14049 the uh, 14049 hex buffer has a maximum operating voltage of 18 volts piezo alarm is an efm-290ed here's the data sheet for the piezo alarm transducer manufactured by east you can see the part number there here's the test circuit if you just use this circuit right here and use a D4049 hex buffer, you can power the piezo alarm with 9 volts just using this circuit diagram here. The ideal voltage looks like it's around 9, but the device is rated in the 7 to 12 volt range.